Te nā koutou katoa, tau tī mai ki a hanti na Aotearoa. Hei tēnei wiki, ke te whenua o ahi tauri a tonu tātou ki te kaingo ngā kangaru me ngā koraka taira. Mā hori, tātou ko Piripi ko Rubberow, e haria ki ngā wahi rereke rau atu te ahua. Kia matāra mai ki ngā tariana puaka nunui me ngā neke paitini. He aru aru anō, e te hai. Tēnei wiki ka hoki anō tātou ki Yahi Treiria, aruaru ai i Mururandi, ki te Takiwao, New South Wales. Kei roto anō tātou i te wao Yahi Treiria. I tērā wiki, ka tūtaki atu tātou ki tauku whanau ngā hori, rau ako tōna tama, a Piripi. Nā wai rā, ka tūtaki atu ki ngā momo kai aruaru o Yahi Treiria. How's it going? How are you? Rava. Ara hoki, he patu kuati puihi te mahi, Koi rā te timatanga noi ho oa tātou mahi aruaru. Kaore i roa, ka tau mai te mata o te pō. A, ka kahu tātou ki te ano o ngā tariana. Engari, he maringi toto te utu. Kei te kōrero anō māua ko te ozi nei a Robo. So what actually do you hear, man? I work as a farm contractor, look after this farm for a guy and, yeah, just poke around on other farms. But in terms of managing the stock and fencing and fencing? Yeah, yeah. Like, um, oh, you'd call me a caretaker. I wouldn't manage it properly. You'd call them cockies back home. Yeah, sort of <laughs> one of them. Well, with all this bloody farm management going on, how do you find time to squeeze in the hunty? Uh, on good times like this, yeah, you got a lot of time to yourself, so you go for a hunt in the mornings and the arvos and just check water dur during the day. And what, what do you predominantly hunt? Uh, mainly pigs and uh, kangaroos as well, just on the side. So yeah, it's pretty good. And you don't just do that to, for a hobby, you do it nah. as a profession? Yeah, I, I actually sell them to a chiller a couple of k's down the road and make money off them. So. Good money? Yeah, it's pretty good money until George turns up and takes <laughs> it. Well, how much can you make up to, or how much can you make, or how much do you make? Yeah, I can make up to 24 grand a year on pigs and, yeah, roos as well, so, like, that's cash money, so. And is there any specific time in the year when you hunt more than that? Uh, yeah, the winter is the good time because you can go all day and your dogs don't get knocked up. We've been in fairly warm weather. Yeah, mainly at night, like, it's um, a lot easier on the dogs, a bit harder on us, but, yeah. It's um, yeah, a bit cooler. I've heard you tell me before that you've got ear dogs. Well, what does that mean? Yeah, well, to sell them to the chiller, you've got to have them all on the head. You can't have bite marks around the legs or that. So, yeah, like any um, dogs that chew on the legs, they don't last long. What about the old roos? You've got to headshot the roos. Yeah, headshot the roos. Like, they're for human, human consumption. They're sold in Woolworths and that. So you wouldn't really get many roos during a the year then, would you? Yeah. <laughs> they shoot about 800 a year, <coughs> like for kangaroos, so it's like, pretty good. Now, you know the, the track you use, is that, a, is that a standard issue for sort of pig hunters and roo hunters? Yeah, sort of. It's got to all be galvanised and that, and have sanitising uh, dispensers on it. So, yeah, like it, it's all about hygiene, because you do get rejects, then you don't get no money. And how many can you fit on there? Oh, I put about 34 on there. Well, if we had the similar wagon back home, we'd have all the same setup with, with one hook. <laughs> uh, you guys over here, mate, your buddy, the amount of game I hear you guys hit over here and the amount of animals we see all around the place is amazing. Yeah. I mean, you'd get bored if you come back to New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. Just going back to that, um, that kangaroo uh, hunting. 
Is there any sort of test you have to go through? Yeah, you got to do a accuracy test. Um, it's 80, 80 metres, and you got to shoot them in the size of a, a 50 cent piece, and yeah, to pass it. And you got to redo that every four years. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it took you about five years to get to it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. man, just having to dig here. Yeah. Just having to dig, man. Fair yeah. dinkum, fair dinkum. Right? Yeah. yeah. But no, nah, like, when I first started off roo shooting, I couldn't hit them with a rock. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I was better off throwing the bullets at them. But just as time's gone on, yeah, I've got it down to a fine art now. So you just hunt mainly the, um, the pig and the kangaroos, whatever, what other sort of? Edible feral animals have you got here? Uh, deer. We've got a lot of deer around here. And um, What species are they? Uh, we've got red and fallow, and there's the odd wapiti that comes through. But yeah, very rarely you'll see them. And then you've got goats. Everyone, like South Africans just down the road, they eat the goats. What would be a, a good night for you? A uh, good night, uh, like at least 10 chilla pigs. Like, and they'd all have to be over their 50 kilo mark. And what do you get a kilo? Uh, thirty a kilo. So, makes it like five, six hundred bucks a night. So, yeah, it's not too bad. What about the old koala on the split? Uh, the koala, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shoot them mongrels. <laughs> hey, <Nah>. mongrels! <laughs> Isn't that your national um, animal? Yeah, no, they're another 80k down the road. Oh, they okay. don't get this far up. Hey. Tell you what, I'd live here because I love my hunting. If you had no snakes, no poisonous spiders, no wombats, and you got rid of your flies. We're just hunting the dark. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, well, yeah, and just keep your eyes shut. Ko te ahua nei, he whaka puta mohi o katoa ngā tangata oko nei. Ko te mea nui, ki a kau e ngaua ai taku noma o e te ngākihi. Kia hoki mai anō tātou, hea rai ngākihi te mahi, ka ki te tātou e tahi ngākihi rahi rahi rawa atu. Ā, ah, kei konei anō a Adam, me ona tohu tohu hika, aru aru hoki. Ka hoa tu tātou ki te wao ki te rapu i taku matua, a hori, kei reira e huna ana, i te mea, Itera, Wiki. How about you, Uncle? Are you coming along? Yeah, oh, the weather too hot for me. Too hot? Uh, no help to eat the fakata. You're not hiding something from me? Hey, <laughs> kahore anoa, kia kite i ai a tai noa mai ki tenei wā. Me whakahoki a mai te mana ki aupea. Sort of worked out your style of hunting there, but it took me a while. I had to go down and up the hill, but now I... I think I'll pull Pakeke status and stay with you and let the young fellas go down. What's your reckon? Hi. <laughs> Pindi pigs, eh? Ngā wā katoa, eh? Pindi, pindi kai here? Ai, 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 pindi. Ngā kai katoa kei kuna iki. Ngā mea māngare kai kai tāhe mei rā, kui rā ki. Kuna te rere ki, eh? Ki a koe. Whai, whakingau pōaka mo te, mo te kapata, mo te kai. Ai, ai, ai. Te pāke ai, mai kuna i a... Ngā te whaka ngā tūwa tātou i mio kuna i ngā mea māngare rā. So how long, how often you come up here, huh? Every every month or when uh, when the freezer is empty? I put it in our meat jar now. I don't know if to get it here now. Because it's not any the, the meat, eh? It's just getting back out in the country, mm, getting mm, away from mm, the city, mm, eh? The mm, big lights. I think you know, Mahi, the, you know, in our town, eh? And now, Mahi, we're not all water to Chicago. Kahere tonu te Mahi aru aru, ah? Ka tupono matau ki tetahi o te hunga kainga, kei reira e moiana. He te iwi te ingoa tēnei whārua, Snake Valley. You didn't tell me this was Snake Valley, bro. Ah, well, the pigs are down here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sounds like the snakes are too. Yeah, they are. Like, um, it's one thing you got to be careful with when your dogs are up here. You can lose a dog straight away. What sort of, what sort of snakes are? Yeah, red belly, black. Like, yeah. Poisonous? Yeah, very poisonous. 
I keep saying, you don't really want to be playing with him. I mean, if I stood on that, yep. and you got through these chaps and under your skin, how long would I have? Uh, would get you to hospital, but you'd be feeling pretty sick. Right, yeah. Or I could leave you here and we could catch another pig off you in a week. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I thought I saw some pig sign back on the other yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, there was a bit of pig sign over that side, but... Yeah. Okay, mate, you lead the way, I'm right behind yeah, yeah. you. We'll keep moving. Pūrari ngākihi, kua horotaku wehe, ke ngauataku tauwe ngā paka nei. E te iwi kua tai mai te wā, Hunting and Fishing New Zealand tip of the week. Te tahu i tahi. Adam, how about a few options how to light a fire in the old wet, mate? All right, Howie. What we'll do is we'll grab this little tool here, OK? We'll come over here. I've already got some shaving started, but we can scrape this magnesium strip, which will give us a really white, intense heat. Um, also combine that with a bit of uh, all impregnated wood. Once we've got a, a little pulse sorted, get our, mag our striker, the our magnesium strip here, and get a few flames going, add a little bit more mire dust, just to get our, uh, build up our flame, keep it burning, some dry tinder, make sure that flame doesn't go out, and we'll just slowly build up our, our fire from there on until we get a nice good going fire. Um, another option to use is our candle, okay, it gives a nice, nice long flame once we get it lit, or otherwise, you know, we can grab the old bicycle tube here, Always have that in your kit. Cut a strip off, and we can light that. You'll light, Howie. Matter of fact, I have there. Adam. My old yep. mate Cheeky Eights gave me this little gizmo here, waterproof. Yep. And what we have here is a stick with a wick on the end. We've put some uh, lighter fluid down there. Yep. And if you turn it over, you'll see the old striker there. All you do is. Ah, oh, excellent. This is the old flame. The old rubber tube it is a bit smelly but what it does once it gets going it'll burn for quite a long time that will burn nice and long and uh, we can start putting our bits of dry tinder the odd twigs on there and start building up our fire there's our fire mate there's our fire at the fire mate quite at the quarter of life we'll turn the wiki Keep your eye out for this little gadget here, the old fire starter. What do you reckon, Adam? Pretty damn hot. He maha ngā māka puaka me ngā māka tia kei konei. He ngari, kei ngā ngā kihi tonu. Aku whakaro. Tia nao nei. Dogs go nao nei. Snakes everywhere. Kaore e roa, ka hoatu ngā kuri. Why do you cut the old uh, vocal cords ever? So it stops squealing, so when we hit a mob, they can hear them rustling through the scrub again. Oh, yeah. And they can, instead of using their nose, they can use their ears. Oh. So, yeah. I was the last one here, so it looks like I'm carrying it back to the truck, am I? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, mate, you dress them up and I'll stick them on my back. <laughs> okay. Looking fat, who am I? Mate? It's not too bad at all. How they get so fat, mate? It's a good season here at the moment. It's just dried off in the last oh, month or so. But yeah, last year they were a bit poorer. Now you guys go in kilos, mate. We're still in pounds back home. Uh -huh. How many kilos do you reckon that is? Uh, and I'll double be... and a half it. <laughs> it'd be 45, 50 kilo dressed. Um, so about 120 pounds. Yes, yeah, something like that. This fella's worth about 80 bucks if you were to sell him. 
And you get to have, you have to leave the liver in the hardener. Yeah, yeah, it's for um, testing purposes. Like they test them for chemicals and all that. Like in your liver, because that's where the liver processes all your stuff. Not the high tutu or the water. Keep the fly away for a little while so we can um, come back, make a bit more money. <laughs> be heavier too, eh? Yeah. Get away then, it'll be heavier. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, go. Hey, hi, the Akane, Kango Puaka, no, Mato Kuri, ah, Capicodia, eh, Metatini Mano Mano, Onaho, Komutura, no, the Maharahara Monganaki. The big rabbits over here, mate, there's a big rabbit, I like. Ah, uh, no, it's a wombat hole. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got a heap of wombats over here. Um, yeah, there's one hole here and just another one across the other side. Your dogs, they smell similar to the dogs, do they? Yeah, they do. You have to crawl down and get them, otherwise you lose your dog forever. And, yeah, haven't lost one touch wood. But, yeah, that's the go on them. Is they good to eat? Don't know. They reckon they taste like a bit like rock. <laughs> <laughs> and you've never tasted rock uh, before, have yeah, I haven't chewed on a rock either, so... Yeah. So, so they actually, the dogs chase them in there and they actually suffocate them or something? Yeah, yeah, they got um, armour on their bum and they can squash their heads with their ass. So. Suffocate them? Uh, no, crush it. Like they oh, got, shit. Yeah, they've got a lot of, they can push off the wall of the hole and crush the dog. Well, let's just hope you don't have to call into one of those today, mate. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Because I won't fit. <laughs> I ate it. There's another wombat hole down there, and they're very similar to the pig in size and smell. I got it wrong. They don't smell like dogs, they smell like pigs. That's why the old pig dog goes up those holes and gets stuck. Yeah, they're just there. The dogs are up following the wind. Wind's blowing them up the hill. They must be just in here somewhere. You! You! Come here! You! You! Hey, poor girl, no tongue, I could. Get him! Yeah, I always did. Oh, yeah. That's a chukwai, Robert. Oh, a very good hunt this morning. A couple of pigs in within about an hour. You probably would have caught more if it wasn't for me lugging behind, though. Eh? Yeah, yeah, carrying that other one back for us. Oh, well, you got it, and I'll carry this one back, and we'll go back for a cup of tea. Yeah, or a beer. A beer, eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, my eye. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bit of me getting used to your culture over here, mate. Yeah. Uh, it's all, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I'll yeah. try anything, mate. Yeah, it's all good. You going first or shall I? Want a rock, scissor, paper? Okay, one, two, three. Too easy. Which way are we going, bro? Straight up? Yeah. Straight down. You good? Yep. Alright, let's go. I'll grab the wall. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Ka hipa te rua minichi, kua hōhā katoa u ki ngā rango. Flies, mate. It's all about a dozen. Ko paura wa te hau. Me fai wahi ki te rapu oranga mō ngā poko hiwi rarahi o te aro. E hara i te mea, ko ngā rango te taki i pera ai i tēnei wā. Kā pai. Kei te hara mai a piripi, ku a ora ngā poko hiwi te aroa nei. Ko 
haere tā tau ki te unu waipiro. Ko arahi pea e rā poaka, engari kā tonu ngā pūrama, ka haere tonu te mahi aruari. E kore raua pea e pau te kaha āene. Pouta half a haura, ka kitea ko etahi poka ano. Ara, ano te tahi mo te koute. Hmm, ka pai e nei punua poaka mo te hāngi. Ka wai hōtia e rabau ngā pūkahukahu i te manoa me te ate e whakamatautauria i nga hoko atu ana. Topsy. We're baiting up the road here a couple of days ago, seeing if they've been eating the grain I put out. Yeah, and there you go, you can always tell which way they're going. Coming up or back. Right. They're obviously heading for water just down the road. And yeah, we've caught them coming back from water just after a feed. How's that? You like that? That's the plan. Uh, Is that smell a tickle and tell us where. This <laughs> is a CSI Grissom. CSI Grissom over here. Yeah, there you go. Know where they are. We could go all night. Ko pai te aru aru. Ah, maroka yana te koro koro. Ko hare mā tau ki te whakamā kūkū. A wake i te ata, ki te whakaritea mai ngā tama i te taraka ahori. Mo te hare ngā whāhaura te roa, Kia hoki ki poi hākina. Robert, thank you mate, it's been... I don't know, there's no words to describe it. Uh, so we had a great time mate. You're a great host, and you're a bloody character mate. You should have your own TV show. <laughs> hey? uh, uh, I'll be right, I'll leave that to you. And there's absolutely no truth in the trans-Tasman rivalry between Australia and New Zealand. Nothing, mate. Yeah. You Australians are actually great losers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mate. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for having us. Yeah, not a problem. If you ever come to New Zealand, give us a ring. Yeah, and if you ever get bored over there, come back. Choice, yeah. mate. Catch you next time, mate. Okay, mate. Yeah. See you, man. Thanks to your freezer. wife too, thanks to your wife. See you when the freezer gets empty. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> hey, learn how to spell beer too, eh? Beer. B-E-E-R, not X-X-X-X. I te mutunga iho ka tā koha atu ngā puaka katoa e rabau ki te whāna o hori. Ka tahi te tangata mana ki koia. Ki aura, mate. Ka hipa te wā, ka whaka atu mai a hori i tētahi o ona. Tino hata ke hi ira. E wama, e ngō tēnei awa. Dau boi quick. Ko te wā kai kōhua pēr. Kā tai ki tō hōri whare, e hunu hunu, e waru waru poake te mahi. Mi haro katoa te aru aru tahi mātou kō hōri, kō piripi, kō rabo hoki. Kā mau mahara tonu au ki tēnei wā, mō ake tonu atu. Mazua, kā nui taku aroa ki a koe me tō whanau huki, mō tō whanaungatanga, manakitanga, mō tēnei wī. Thank you, Maia. Maia, mō. 
See you on the leaf, you bro. Yeah. Not be an Aussie jersey, though. Now that they're too weak, we're not out there, Mahi Mo, they're too weak. Kaki, they. And go, smell those pork bones. Hold on. Hey, Tera Wiki, ke o te roa no tātou, ke te whau whau rua o Aitomo. Give us a few um, hints and, and, and um, what am I trying to say here? Give us a few options, had a lot of fire. <laughs> we had a little bit more tinder on there. Get it going, you've just put it out. <laughs> Hang on, where's, where's that oil? Our fire's gone out. <laughs>